When your aging parents can no longer care for themselves, having that conversation with them is never easy. One of the first questions is figuring out what your loved ones can afford when it comes to their long-term care. And then once you know that, it's time to figure out what type of care your parents can afford. And Joy's here now with a look at some of the options that you may think are out of your price range. Kent, Mary, I had no idea how much was involved in caring for seniors when my parents finally needed daily help. My father, he was 92 years old when he died in January, and it was during the months leading up to that when my sister and I realized that he and my mother needed help up where they lived in New Jersey. That journey had us checking out everything from home health aides to assisted living facilities, and we learned that some of the places we thought were out of our parents' price range were actually more of a possibility than we realized. Hi, welcome to Watercrest. Hi. Thanks for coming Thank today. You. It can be a little intimidating walking into Watercrest oh Senior Living on San Jose in. Boulevard. Oh, Luxury oh, lines this assisted Memorial living Day community Memorial. from the restaurant style dining to the salon and spa services on site and licensed nurses available to every resident 24 7. 93 year old Joyce Shirley says the life change wasn't easy, but she's thankful she made the move. I've always had my own home and uh, this is new for me, and I'm not saying that I wanted to do it, but I'm happy here, <laughs> and that's what's important. At Watercrest, renting a studio apartment, which includes a kitchenette and full bathroom, starts at $3,500 a month. If that alone has you steering clear of living arrangements like this for your loved one, Watercrest's community relations director says your mom or dad may already be paying that amount for the same services right now. You're going to have Wi-Fi, you're going to have cable, you're going to have a landline telephone, and then all your normal utilities are automatically included. Take a look at your parents' current bills. Add up all their monthly expenses like property taxes, utilities, home repairs, and transportation. Many private pay assisted living communities like Watercrest have compared that average total to the monthly rent they charge. Then on top of rent, they add varied pricing for levels of care and attention your loved one may need, starting at an additional $300 per month, which may also be what your parents pay for doctor's visits right now. Could be dressing, it could be helping, but just standing by and helping them with certain things. It could just be making sure that you're getting to everything that you need. Still out of your budget? There are similar communities that may be more affordable. This area looks absolutely beautiful. This is one of our dining areas. We have three on the property. Executive Director Harry Mangini gave us a tour of family-owned Astoria Senior Living, a new community on US-17 in Orange Park, right off I-295 in Clay County, in the old Astoria Hotel. It, too, provides extra amenities like a hair salon and fine dining, but like the said, rooms at Astoria are less expensive. Remember Watercrest's pricing beginning at $3,500 for a studio apartment, and residents often pay out of pocket there? Well, Astoria's pricing for a private room starts at a little more than $2,000 a month. That's $1,400 cheaper. And at Astoria, Medicaid is accepted. Because Medicaid will only pay so much towards the room, and it's easier for a Medicaid person to share a room to cover the expense. A shared or semi-private room at Astoria costs even less, starting at $1,700 a month. And once rent is covered here, a resident's short-term health needs can be covered by Medicare. Now, if your plan was to have your parents live with you when they can no longer live alone, we checked with the American Association of Retired Persons. In an article online last year, AARP said to have a home health aide for 44 hours a week, that's about six hours a day, here in Northeast Florida expect to pay about $130 a day. That's nearly $4,000 a month. The or same amount you'd be paying if your loved one makes that move to an assisted parties, living facility like Joyce did. Friday. I'm glad I'm here. I don't want to move again. There's if one rule of thumb when checking out any senior community for your loved one. Taylor Campbell with Seacrest Village in Fleming Island recommends don't schedule a tour, just show up. Walk in. You want to see the community in its daily action. And if you're a good community, you're always going to be in action and you're always going to be on point. You know, right now, our web team is working to provide you more online. So after dinner tonight, head to newsforjax.com. That's where we'll have more industry secret, secrets from Taylor Campbell. Why you should trust your initial instincts when touring a senior center or facility and some of the telltale signs that the facility you're considering for your loved one is a good one. And, you know, uh, Kent and Mary, this weekend would have been my father's 93rd birthday. Oh. So in honor of him, I'm, I'm so thankful that I get the opportunity to possibly 
possibly help anyone who might be going through a similar yeah, situation like, well, like this. Well, guaranteed this is going to help because you, you never know. Mm -hmm. uh, some people say, oh, well, mom and dad are getting older, but you never know when they're going to be at that and age. And you keep pushing it off and help. pushing it off, and all of a sudden, you need yeah. it. Well, uh, one of the things that stands out, great options if your loved ones don't have major health issues. What if they do? Okay, so say your parents, they need specialized health care, like wound care. That's what my father was dealing with. He had a stage four bed sore that was the worst possible at the base of his spine. Well, then you want to explore places like skilled nursing centers. They're also called nursing homes. They can cost even more. So can your parents afford that? Coming up tonight on the 10 o'clock news, how to even have that conversation with a generation that does not like to talk about their finances, even with family, and some of the help available locally to figure out how you and your loved ones will pay for their care. That's all coming up tonight on the 10 o'clock news. I tell you what, Joy, I, I, my, really my own mom, we've been having this discussion about oh, my mom. Really. She didn't want to leave their She's house. She's in her 80s, your I, mother. 90s, 90s. 94, oh. and um, doing great. But still, they have a three-story house. She's still going... I'm like, Mom, but my I couldn't do it without my sisters. Having that, that support system is huge. Huge, yeah. huge. Great information there, though. Thank you, Julie.